Hello guys, today I am going to discuss the concept of areas of parallelograms and triangles. The first concept is planar region. So what is planar region? First, you people understand, then I will give you a definition. So any, any closed figure, it may be a, it may be a rectangle any closed figure like this any closed figure like this figure like this figure like this so any kind of a closed figure is any kind of a closed figure which occupies a region which occupies a region like this this is a region of a closed figure right and this region is called the planar region this region is called the planar region find the region which is occupied by any closed figure is called the planar region right so let's write down the definition the planar region corresponding to a simple closed figure is a part of the plane enclosed within boundary of the figure. So, what is planar region? The planar region correspond to a simple closed figure is a part of the plane enclosed within the boundary of the figure. I hope idea is clear. So, let's move to the next concept. So, next concept, people always ask something called area. What is an area? Right? So, area is basically the measurement of the planar region. Area is basically the measurement the measurement of the planar region the of planar region is called area it may be of this one also it may be of this area also it may be of this area also it may be of any area right so the measurement of any area is called the measurement of any planar region is called its area right so the magnitude or so the definition of the area is the magnitude magnitude or measurement of the planar region enclosed by a closed figure is called area of that figure I hope the idea regarding area is clear now next thing is called congruent figures very much important concept so two figures are said to be congruent if they have same shape and same size same shape and same size if two congruent figures are cut and one of them super one of them is superposed on the other then each figure covers the other completely fine so this is the idea regarding congruent figures 
say you can think about uh, an example that key you have a triangle say of side uh, five centimeters each right this is five this is five and this is five right so basically this is an equilateral triangle and we have another triangle of same measurements five five and five so i can say that k triangle abc triangle abc is congruent to triangle def right because when i cut this triangle and i cut this triangle when i cut this triangle and i cut this triangle then both superpose each other fine so we can say that okay, these two figures are congruent it can be any figure it can be anything it can be figure like this so if this figure actually superposes this figure then these two figures are called congruent figures right right so these two figures are also congruent figure understood so this is a concept regarding congruent figures so next uh, concept we which we are going to discuss is equilibrium area exams right so let's change the color so next concept is so the first point which i'm going to discuss is existence postulate corresponding to each polygon p lying on plane there exists a real number there exists a real number that is ar area of p which is greater than equal to 0 called its area so it shows that k area the area of an existing thing is should be the area of existing polygon should be greater than equal to zero the second topic is dominance postulate for regions sorry let me change the color for regions r1 and r2 in a plane if R1 is a subset of R2, that is, if R1 is a part of R2, then area of R1 is less than equal to <coughs> area of R2. I hope. So very simple idea is clear point number three is postulate of additivity for any two plane regions r1 and r2 so let's take one diagram first and then I'll explain yeah. so this is a straight line The freehand diagram just consider all the lines are straight so this region is called r1 and this region is called r2 right so for any two planes region plane regions r1 and r2 right such that such that area of r1 intersect r2 is equal to zero it means that or that is if r1 and r2 are non overlapping regions if r1 and r2 are non overlapping regions then area of then area of r1 union r2 is equal to area of r1 
plus area of R2. So, so in the adjoining figure, so in the adjoining figure, if R represents the total region of polygon, then AR then area of R is equal to the sum of the areas of region R1 and R2. That is area of R is equal to area of R1 plus area of R2. I hope this idea is clear. So next concept is the next concept is con congruence postulate. R1 and R2 are two congruent figures, then they have equal areas. Thus, R1 is congruent to R2. It implies to area of R1 is equal to area of R2. However, the converse is not true. If two figures have equal areas, then they are not congruent. So, two figures, two figures having equal area need not to be congruent need not to be congruent let's see one example say so for example so for there is a square whose side is 4 cm. The side is 4 cm. So, area of the square is 16 cm square. You can imagine one rectangle. Fine. And the side is 2 cm. The breadth is 2 cm. And the length is 8 cm. So, area of this rectangle is 16 cm square. So, here area is same, but the figures are not congruent. I hope idea is clear. Fine. So, so a square of a square of side 4 cm has the same area as a rectangle eight centimeter cross two centimeter, but they are not congruent. I hope congruence postulate is clear. Now let's discuss one statement. The statement says, the statement says, figure on the same base and between the same parallels. So figures on the same base and between the same parallels. Let's discuss this thing in a bit detail. So two figures are said to be on the 
same base and between the same parallels if they have a common side taken as a base and the vertices or the vertex opposite to the common base of each figure lie or lies on the line parallel to the base so two figures are said to be on the same base and between the same parallels if they have the common side taken as a base and the vertices or the vertex opposite to the common base of each figure lie or lies on the line parallel to the base fine so let me draw a few uh, figures so you can have a observed you observe the figures properly so here the base is a b fine and the, there is a parallel line so this line is called x y or l this line is l right and uh, it is marked with point x and y fine so so we have two triangles here one and there is another triangle so in this figure there is a triangle called a b and c so this is a triangle a triangle a b and c and there is another triangle a b a b and d this is another triangle a b and d right they are on the same base a b their base is a b right their base is a b right and between the same parallels ab and xy this xy is the parallel so this xy is the parallel of ab fine i hope you understood right so let's draw another one so my lines are not straight uh, actually it's a freehand diagram and uh, my hand is quite slipping uh, so so we assume that ki these all these are straight lines Right. Let me use an eraser. Let me let me draw it once again. Fine. So I hope uh, this is this line is parallel to this line, and this line is parallel to this line. Right. Let's mark down. So, so this is A. This one is B. This one is C, and this one is D. And this is E and F. Right, this one is E and this one is F. So here there are in in the second one there are two parallelograms A, B, C, and D, and there is another parallelogram A, B, E, and F. Right, and both share the same base and the same base A, B, and they are in between the same parallel lines A, B, and D, E. All right. So you can see another diagram. Okay, here. Thank God, I've drawn it straight. A, B, and C, D, and this is N. Fine. So here we have a trapezium A, B, C, D, and we have a triangle A, B, and N. Right? And they are they are on the same base. They are on the same base A, B, and they are between the same parallel lines A, B, and D, N. Okay. So I hope uh, this idea is clear. Okay, two figures are said to be on the same base and between the same parallels if they have common side. So this common side is called base. This is the common side, right? Here, yeah, this is the common side which is called base, right? And base and the vertices and the vertices or vertex opposite to the common base of each figure of each figure lie on the parallel to the base. I think this idea is clear. Fine. So uh, there is another line called. There is another line which I want to discuss that k. Parallelograms on the same base and between the same parallels. Parallelograms on the same base and between between the same parallels. So parallelograms on the same base and between the same parallels are equal in area. This is important. 
the statement is important parallelograms on the same base and between the same parallels this statement is important so we can uh, we can uh, do an activity right uh, so that we can uh, understand right so what we can do here ke uh, first uh, we take 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 a sheet right and draw one parallelogram right take a sheet right first step take a sheet <coughs> take a sheet so what are the properties of parallelogram so first property of the parallelogram opposite sides are parallel and equal so you should keep these things in your head while drawing the parallelogram right you can draw any any size parallelogram fine so and let's mark it out over here a b c and d right now the next step what we do we try to draw one we try to uh, we try to mark out one triangle right so we have we have marked one triangle so we have marked one triangle right on a on a separate on a separate sheet right we marked one triangle and on a separate sheet uh, we mark the similar triangle right so second step mark a triangle a triangle ade on parallelogram abcd and third step take a separate sheet take a separate sheet and trace out the diagram trace out the diagram fine and trace out the diagram so it will be traced uh, like this right now now we can say that k uh, when the, the 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 triangle we cut the triangle we cut the triangle right step number 4 we cut the triangle triangle a e bar d okay from the from the trace from the trace and and we try to fix and we and we try try to fix the cut out on figure 1 on figure 1 on figure 1 fine so as as ad as ad is parallel to bc as ad is parallel to bc fine as ad is parallel to bc so we can match so we can uh, we can match ab parallel to de fine so 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 as ad is parallel to bc so it so it coincides with bc so so it coincides with bc fine so let's draw it here so see here we can write this as d bar and this one is e bar right and this one is a e bar okay so that we can recognize it so it coincides with this fine so so it coincides with side bc of the parallelogram abcd right and we does we have two parallelograms does we have two parallelograms does we have two parallelograms a b c d and we have a b e bar e right so we have two parallelograms fine so now we can say that area 
so it's, we can say that the triangle ADE is congruent to triangle A bar DE. Fine. Therefore, we can see that triangle ADE is congruent to triangle A bar DE bar E. Let's put bar over here everywhere. Fine. So which applies and this applies and this implies area of triangle ADE is equal to area of triangle A bar DE A bar D bar E bar fine also the area of triangle sorry area area of parallelogram area of parallelogram ABCD is equal to area of triangle ADE plus area of quadrilateral ABCE which is equal to area of triangle A bar D bar E bar plus area of quadrilateral ABCE so this is equal to area of parallelogram a b e e bar sorry a b e bar e not e bar a b yeah a b e e bar sorry a b e bar e a b e bar e fine so there's two parallelograms a b c d and a b e e bar are equal in area okay in the next in the next video we are going to discuss the concept of theorems on area of parallelograms and triangles thank you